Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations. Welcome back to the CNC series. You know, I recently got a question from a buddy of mine, Brad Jacob up there at Basement Shop Guy. If you haven't seen his stuff, go look him up. You know, anybody that can disassemble a bridge port and drag it up a flight of stairs from a basement with a tow truck is my kind of guy. So Brad, this one's for you, bud. Today is about the G54 through G59 fixture offset bookmarks that are available for G-code programming on controllers like this in the FADOM. Now, when Brad asked me this question, I had no idea what a G54 was because on my particular machine, I use E values for my fixture offsets. But I have to believe that somewhere in the other type of FADAL controllers that there are or is a fixture offset register not only for your tools but for table locations. So I did some experimenting and this is what I found. So let's take a look at the controller and see if we can clear up some of these details. My new stabilizer bar, I'll see how this works. Okay, right now you can see that on the monitor, let's get a little closer. On the monitor right here in the in the tool call line, normally somewhere in this X0, Y0 spindle speed uh, rotation control, there would be an E value in here telling me which fixture offset I was using. And because I'm accustomed to looking at G code, I would look for that E value and right now I don't see it. So the G54 being shown right here tells me that it is fixture offset number one. Down here on the bottom of this particular screen, the number six on my keyboard takes me to the offset register. So if I hit the six, I am now in the tool register. If I hit the space bar, it takes me to the offset register for the table locations, fixture offsets. E1, or fixture offset one, which is what G54 looks at, is programmed at minus six on the X and 1.5 on the Y. All right, now you're smarter. Let's go back to the program. When I hit this program, this is a simple square and it's above the part just for illustration purposes. If you wanna see what your program is going to cut, you can hit the G on your keyboard and then hit the A. This is an auto draw feature. This simulates what your computer or what your machine is gonna cut for you. Now, if it's too small to see right now, you can hit the jog button while this is up on the screen and it gives you a second window. By using your uh, dial on your, on your controller, this dial right here, and setting your X or your Y, you can move it up or down. So we got this set on Y. We're gonna click over to the X on the, and we're going to move over. And when you hit the Z, it zooms or not. So once you have your little secondary framing cropping window over your graphic, hit enter. And there you go. It'll zoom in and blow it up for you. In case there's all kinds of detail in that graphic, now it's a little bit bigger on the screen. To get out of here, you can hit the manual button, hit manual again, and it takes you back to your base program. Now the way this program is written, it's got all your standard calls with your uh, tool call tells me T20, which is the tool. Uh, it's going to rapid to the machine XY0 position before it moves off to the G54 offset. Now I'm gonna hit the start button. It's gonna go real slow, gonna to go to the machine zero, then it's gonna move over six inches and draw a little one inch square. I'm gonna hit auto. And right now it's waiting. So I'm gonna reposition the camera, get you into the machine. And let's see what this looks like. Here we go. This G54 command just sent it to the XY locations in the fixture offset register without actually having to put those values on the screen. Now, if you wanted to enter additional values in the G55, G56, all you would have to do is edit that. This is also a very good opportunity to show you how to skip that line. There's a block skip control or a block switch skip toggle switch. Try saying that three times fast on this controller. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to make that work. So let's take a look. 
When it says waiting, it's looking for another cycle, especially if the blue light's going. So that means if you hit the start button again, it's going to run that again. Just hit manual to get out of that, manual again, and there you are. Use your D or U button on your keyboard to make your little scroller, your little icon, jump up and down to the line you want to change. Once you're on that line, hit C. And right now I'm going to hit a front slash or a back slash or whatever you call it, lower right corner. Yep. And hit enter. Now it's going to show up just before the N40. And when I hit enter again, you're going to see a backslash show up right on N40. All right. Now what that is, is a block skip bookmark. So if I hit the block skip button right now, when the program gets to that N40 line, it's going to see that backslash and it's going to notice skip right over it. So by default, this program will now run about the XY home location for the program. So instead of moving six inches off center, it's going to stay right at the home position and make that uh, one inch square. So let's hit the auto, get you back in the machine and see if I'm right. Okay hey guys, as promised, the block skip takes you right past any line or any number of lines that you designate with that little slash in front of it. I'm going to hit the manual button here. Stop the blue light special from blinking. Let's say you want to get rid of that front slash. How do you delete that? Any line of code that you want to delete or any feature or whatever in your code that you want to delete, naturally hit the U or the D button to get onto that line and hit the C for change. When it shows up down here, hit the front slash to identify what it is that you want to change. You'll see it show up and then hit the semicolon after it. That means make it go away. When you hit the enter, it's going to go away on your confirmation line. If you like what you see, hit enter again and watch for the N40 to go back to normal. This is probably going to be one of the shortest CNC series videos I'm going to shoot, but the G54 through G59 are bookmarks for fixture offsets 1 through 6 in your offset register. So now that you know that, you know how to engage a block skip, you know how to graph, you know how to zoom on the graph, and you know how to edit a line of code that you don't want the features or the characters showing up on. So I would say there's an awful lot of information packed in a very short period of time. Thank you to everyone that has donated to my friend's GoFundMe account. The family wanted me to say thank you to you all and keep them coming. They are thrilled. So thank you very much for your support. That's all I got for you right now. I wanted to make this a quick one. Thanks again, Joe Prysinski, Austin, Texas Advanced Innovations. I'm out.